don't know if you can see Piper right there. Piper's in her first video. Sit down video. Okay. Okay, let's not. Look at this. It's literally straight out sticking. How is that even possible? How is that like even a thing? Hey guys. So today I am doing a questions and answers video. I'm super, super excited about it. It's just gonna be like a really chill, relaxed kind of video. Um, I'm in my comfortable clothes. It's actually like eight o'clock at night. And I didn't feel like getting dressed up to do a video or anything like that. So I just figured I'd sit down with you guys and chat and answer all the questions that you guys sent me. So um, most of the questions that I will be answering is on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is just the court report. And I also got some questions via Snapchat. So if you don't have me on Snapchat, it is the court report 45. And add me on there. A lot of you guys. Um, ask me questions on there and I just screenshotted it and so I can answer it for you guys so I got a lot of good questions here we go what was from mrs. E Potter or miss E Potter mrs. Potter is what is the natural method to lengthening your eyelashes so um, I was I was talking about in some of my other videos that um, I was gonna do a video about my natural eyelash lengthening um, routine that I've been doing. Um, and that is basically castor oil, no, no uh, coconut oil. So what I've been doing is I've been rubbing coconut oil all on my lashes every single night, bottom and top. And then I also even curl them sometimes at night. Uh, with the coconut oil on them. Coconut oil doesn't necessarily make them longer of what I've read. Castor oil does do that. Um, but I have read that it makes them thicker. Lexi Verdi, I think. Uh, what may, what motivates you to get to the gym every single day? Uh, basically, the, I don't go to the gym every day. I really go three four times max during a week but what really helps is that Ethan is also very motivated to go to the gym so he goes with me and if I'm like really not feeling it that day he'll be like okay then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I kind of like I should go to the gym if he's going to the gym you know what I mean so that really helps my mom also goes to the same gym as we do so she does classes and I go to her classes and if I'm not feeling it again you know she'll be like oh come with me to this class and then I'm more likely to go I also follow a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube that I really uh, that like motivates me to get a better body um, to get you know, really fit. And so that kind of stuff really helps me. Yeah. Beth RN15 ask, you spoke about how you and your husband almost split. How did you fix or prevent that? But yeah, that, so that could be a really long video in and of itself. Uh, me and Ethan almost splitting. Man, um, what really helped, I think, was actually being open and honest about it to like family and friends so that they could really help us in like our certain situation that happened. Um, it, it wasn't, if you try to fix things by yourself um, in your own marriage, in your own relationships, friendships and stuff, and you really feel like, man, this is really bad. I, I don't know if I can do this. I think it's just time to split up it really helps to get outside influences on it. Like something that like, we also went to a counselor, um, somebody who doesn't know us, that helps for someone else to speak into our marriage that we couldn't do ourselves. People, outside people see things that you don't really realize until they say it and you're like, oh yeah, God, maybe you are right. You know what I mean? There's some things that you can't fix on your own and when other people help you and it can be somebody like, like my best friend or my mom and dad or um, a counselor or Ethan's mom and dad, my whoever you feel like is somebody that you look up to and you're like, okay, I trust their opinion. Ask them, tell them what's going on because they have something or could speak something into your marriage or speak something into you or your husband that you didn't really realize until they actually said it. And, and it, some, it, it takes a lot of, uh, gall, like just 
letting your pride down really because when you think you can fix it all that's when you've got it all wrong because <laughs> you really can't well the, the more I realize I think I know stuff the more I realize I don't know jack crap I mean honestly Sue girl 15977 how to get over a bad breakup where the guy is super manipulative Oh, that's hard. I guess it depends on what kind of person you are. So if you are a person that's really easy influenced, it's really hard to get over a breakup that somebody's like manip manipulative. Because when you have somebody who's manipulative, man, I can't say that too many times. I'm going to get confused. For somebody who's going through a breakup um, with somebody who is like that, I really suggest like reading a book about like finding yourself or like inner strength or oh my god read you are a badass that is the best book ever and it's one of the books that I suggest for everybody but it might help with that because it kind of puts in into perspective like to like control you this is really something that can might like switch your view onto being a stronger person so that's what I have to say about that um Nessa Garcia, will you film a messy bun tutorial soon? I guess I never even thought about that, but yeah, I will. That would actually be really easy. So, um, yes, I will. And what is your favorite home leg workout? Love your videos. Thank you. Okay, so yes, I will film a messy bun tutorial. And two, my favorite leg workout at home. Okay, I suggest you do wall sits for a minute. Do that three times. Also, um, the leg workout that you are laying like on your side, you're laying on your side. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be hard. And you, okay, I can't even do it. <laughs> you're laying down like this and you go like, like this and you have your leg over like this and you go like this. Oh my God, does this even make any sense? Like this. That's so good. So good for that inner thigh. If you're looking for like a thigh gap, that'll give it to you. Um, you can do lunges at home, which is really great for your for your butt. And you can also do um, squats at home. So if you're doing like a circuit, I would suggest doing like wall sits and then squats and then lunges and then doing that. And you can even do toe raises um, on the stairs, which is a really great workout for your calf. Makara Lee, three. Hey girl, hey. Um, how do you balance your life so well? You seem to have such a good rhythm down. Um, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> That's just what I have to say. I, I honestly don't. I, um, I do things and I think about it the night before. So if I think about my day, like if I'm thinking about my day tomorrow, I always think, okay, what do I want to accomplish? One, I want to accomplish, I want to get to the gym. Two, I have to work. Three, I have to take the kids to the school to school. And four, maybe I want to take a nap. Okay, so if I'm like, if those are my like, or in five, I want to I want to edit a video. Okay, I in my mind the night before, I always when I'm looking at the day, and I know what I have to do. I always in my mind the night before that day, I have to like put a time frame on it. So. Okay, I have to drop the kids off school at 9 o'clock. After that, I'm going to go home and take a nap because that's the only time I'll be able to take a nap tomorrow. And then when I get up from my nap, I'm going to do my makeup. And then I'm going to go to the gym. And then I'm going to eat lunch, do whatever. And then when the kids go to bed, then I'm going to edit a video. So I always so honest, I always have to plan my day from the night before because I am not a person that ha has like a plan for the whole week. I... I'm just really not that organized yet. I am trying to get that way, but I really, I, I honestly don't balance everything that well. I just, I just try to think of what I do that day, what I have to do to get it done, and a time frame. XO so. Amber XO, do you like living in Minnesota? If yet, if yes, what's the favorite part of living there? What's my favorite part? Um, yeah, I do. If you would have asked me this a year ago, I would have said, absolutely not, I wanna move. Uh, we are actually planning on moving to Florida. But um, yes, I do, I, I, I can't say I 
love Minnesota itself. The reason why I love it is because all of my friends are here. I have grown up here. And so I love it for that reason. I also really love that Minnesota has four seasons. I, I love, absolutely love fall. It is my, my favorite time of the year. Um, winter I like until like after New Year's and then I'm, I'm kind of over it. Like right now I'm ready for spring. Um, I love spring and I love summer. So the reason I love Minnesota is because of that. If I move to a state like Florida and it has, I know that they have cooler seasons and stuff like that, but they don't have fall like where the leaves change and snow. I just think that that would be weird for me just because I've grown up in Minnesota my whole life. So yeah, that is why I love Minnesota. How do you like being a mommy? Will there kids, will there be kids in the future? I must, I think that it is. Um, how do you like being a mommy? I love being a mom. Uh, it's my favorite thing ever. It's the most rewarding thing ever. And it's the hardest thing ever. So there are days where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna pull my hair out. What am I doing? Sometimes I wish I was like uh, full time at work so I didn't have to deal with some of the stuff that I have to deal with. But I honestly wouldn't trade it for anything because now that my older two are in school all day, I know how fast it goes. And it's it's really sad how fast it goes. So um, will there be kids in the future? No. Um, me and Ethan decided when I was pregnant with Grayson that that he is the last kid and we knew that and so he got snipped when I was pregnant and we we're done having kids. I, I don't even like, it's not even like a thought in my head right now or ever, ever since I had Grayson. It hasn't even been a thought of us having another one. So we are very content with three. Sydney M. Kane, what channels do you watch? Oh, Okay, I'm assuming like other YouTube channels. That's what I'm gonna go with. Otherwise, I could tell you my TV channels too, but I think YouTube is what you mean. But, okay, so my favorite, I'm just, I love Baby Belly Kelly. She is one of my friends here on YouTube and I just love her. She has vlogs, mommy vlogs, kind of just like me. I'll leave her link below. I love watching Nikki Blacketer, Blackletter, Blacketer, I think it's called or I think she's called, and she's great. She works out and she's, like I just love watching her workout videos and like her and Christian and they're just like a really cute couple. I love them. Um, I also watch uh, Jaclyn Hill because she's amazing. Other YouTubers that I watch, it used to be K Money, K Money I think, but it's like Kirsten Michelle. So yeah, I love her, I love, I'm gonna have to look. I, I really, I could sit and watch YouTube all day. Uh, Aunt 09041, can you explain your haircut? What's the best? Um, okay, so my haircut, I, I don't know how to explain it and I, I honestly am so bad at explaining stuff. So I really, basically I keep my part the way it is and Casey could probably tell you a lot better than I can which is my hairstylist here, but my, my layers underneath are long and then it I have layers that go up a little bit and then I have side sweat bangs so she kind of just layers everything and because my hair is thicker it looks a lot it lays a lot better when there are some layers in it so all I can say is honestly she's been just trimming it for about a year now I've been trying to grow it out and so she's just been trimming the hair that I've already had which is basically just longer on the bottom and then I and I don't have it right now like where you can see but I I don't know how to explain it I'm so sorry this is a terrible answer but 